So if I were to go around over here onto settings and click on see all settings right here, then uh, you can see that I get onto the general section. And if I were to scroll down, you can see that smart features and personalization is an option, meaning you can turn on smart features and personalization such as Gmail, chat, meet, um, I may use my email, chat, and video content to personalize my experience as you can see right here. But if you don't want these other services to use your Gmail, you can simply turn it off and you can see what features will be turned off right here. So you can turn it off right here and reload and all of those features won't be able to access your Gmail and then the features will be turned off. You can go around onto the settings and click on see all settings right here. And the other option that you have right here is, uh, let me just go around and onto smart features. You can see that it turns off the smart feature and personalization for other uh, Google products as well. So this is turned off by default. And once you do that, you can see that grammar, spelling, autocorrect, everything is turned off right here. So even in inbox, you can see that the categories are turned off right here. So now uh, you, you can see that many of the features are still there, but majority of the options as you can see right here, not the majority, but many um, options right here gets disabled when you should turn off the smart feature off because it turns off um, a personalization. But if you were to click on this again, then what happens is that your Gmail gets reloaded and all of those features are turned on back once more again for you to use. And that is how you can go around and use the smart features and personalization uh, option, turn it on and uh, off uh, according to how you like within the Gmail settings. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.